Oh, good. Good, delicious. I'm glad to hear that. All right. So, Where are you? Oh, man, I'm Ryan Token, and thanks for uh, joining me. Here, uh, I understand you're interested in a lighting position, is it? Exactly. All right, and can you tell me a little bit about yourself, boy? Um, I've been a commercial photographer for probably 35 years. Commercial... Commercial photographer. Photograph. P H. Okay. For the past four or five years, I've been uh, right. working as a cinematographer on feature films. Okay. All right. Any other work in the industry? Um, I work as a gaffer. <laughs> Still photographer. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Just a moment. Ah, sorry. Oh, are you still there? Did I lose you? I'm still here. Oh, just a moment. Uh, excuse me. Who? Oh man! I got ah these chairs. Oh, my God! I swear I didn't leave that far back into it. I'm very embarrassed. Excuse me, sir. It's okay. Wow, okay, I need a lighter after that. So, okay, what other experience? I'm sorry, I totally did not catch any of that. Uh, cinematographer on feature films. Uh-huh. I think I've shot six of them. I have got one to shoot coming up in September. Oh, man, okay. You okay? Me oh, I yeah, don't? you know, it's just nothing. You know, it's really just nothing. All right, so... um. Can you give me an example of a time where you had to reach out to a coworker for assistance on something you think you could not handle, and uh, how that went? Uh, well, when I work on a feature film, I've got a crew of ten people, and they're all working for me. Uh -huh. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Could just tell me a story about a time when you had to reach out specifically. Uh, But, you know, we we just shot uh, the oh, first week out of the sound. Ah, oh, that's a shit. Good now. Where were we? Um, I was ordering a pizza. No, I was telling you about how I work with a crew on a feature film. Crew in a feature film. Right, yeah. right. If I'm the DP, then I have a gaffer, and I've got several grips, and I just tell them what to do, and they make it happen, and I make the final adjustments, and we shoot the film. Jesus. Scene. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Uh, do you, uh, would you consider, consider yourself uh, left-leaning, right-leaning, or somewhere in the middle? I'm an observer. Does that make sense? I just watch. I, you know, politics. Is that what you're talking about? Politics? Sure. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just an observer. All right. Are you registered to vote? Uh, yes, I am. And your party affiliation is? Independent. Independent. Okay. Have you made a selection for the uh, this upcoming presidential race? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm waiting for um, someone to vote for. Where do you stand on stem cell research? Uh, where do I stand on stem cell research? I think um, I think time. science is time, 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 time. Um, science is uh, what we do. Not we'll see humans you use science time. to uh, make us live longer, get off the planet. Okay. Science is pretty important, so whatever. Okay. Whatever we do, whatever humans can figure out, then that's what we do. Okay. Uh, when it comes to lighting with the 400K lights, how do you make them go? 400K? Mm -hmm. Like a 4K, you would probably need a, a generator. Right, right. And where would you put the generator? As far away from where we're shooting as possible. Definitely because of the... Why? Because why? Because it's probably noisy. Right, noisy. Okay. Uh, what kind of fuel do you think we'd be using in that? In a generator? I don't know, probably a diesel. Probably diesel. a diesel motor. Wrong, wrong, wrong. 
Right. Close but wrong. Okay. It's gasoline. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but it's too late. Sorry. Okay. Diesel, not gasoline. I think that's minus 10. Okay. All right. And can you give me an example of accurate shading in the classic Veruvian style? Veruvian style? Anybody want to hear? Yes. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, the, it sounds like this guy. Uh, I don't know. Have, did you receive a word from a Jayad in this? I did. Yeah, he may be. I, for some reason, he thinks it's his turn in here. I don't think you should. You did hear from a Jayad or no? Yeah, he set this up. Right. Okay, so what do you think you could bring to the organization as far as a lighting expert? Well, yeah, I would have to know what exactly the organization's doing. What are you doing? I have sure, no okay, doing. well, <clears throat> no problem. I, I can tell you that. We make lighting go in different situations <clears throat> using external power sources, forms of incandescency, near condescency and <clears throat> in general consulting as far as making the spaces go look accurate what kind of spaces the main spaces this is this is the most bizarre interview i've ever had i'm sorry <laughs> is this like a is this like a comedy routine is that what we're doing no no sir i mean this is for the lighting position what what is the lighting position of what? What am I? What would I be lighting? What what do you guys do? Lighting fixtures. Yeah. You turn them on, they go, and they fill up a zone with whatever color heat radiant light, depending on your level of incandescency, your light source, your positioning, and what light. is the what what world are we talking about? Are we talking about a play? Are we talking about movies? Are we talking about real life? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real All life. those. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's the question? Well, what's your experience with that? I've been working in light for about 35 years. Do you make them go? Do I make them go? Mm-hmm. Do I make them go where? Let me show you what I mean. I so, love it. Nothing like a visual. Absolutely. Alright, so this is me, let's say. This is you. This is light. Okay. This here is former President Gerald Ford. He's not president anymore? No, he passed away. I think, yeah, I think he died. If we're doing a subject like this guy here... A little higher? President Jimmy Ford, in which direction do you want the light to go? The machine to go? What percentage here? How's it going to go? Wait, is, is that is that the president there that you're pointing to? Here. Oh, here? Mm-hmm. Well, it depends on what I want to do. Do I want to spotlight him? Is he talking in front of a thousand people? Is it a creative thing? Is he talking to... You know, it depends. Every situation is different. Mm -mm. No, it's it's an advertisement for a major restaurant chain. Okay, so you want me to tell you how I would light it? Mm-hmm. Is he sitting in a... He's, I mean, clearly he's standing and looks like a tub to me. You know, what I would do, I'd probably make it look like a disco. So you bring down one of these like that. Like that. I need to... How to light something with stick people. I don't know the environment. I don't know what... Because so you, well, listen. Now you have a disco ball. You need to have some type of light aimed at the disco ball to create refraction throughout the. You know. Yeah, and he gets up on the table and does his John Travolta 
John tell Oh, but then, and, uh, uh, okay, come on. This is serious now. The I, light itself. Serious? How can this be serious? This is interview time. You have to roll with the punches. Okay. This this go ball here. Subject here. You are here. I'm here. That's my hair. The light source triangle. At what rate and what type of light are you going to aim that at the disco ball to create the refraction the necessary? I'd probably put a spotlight on it. Maybe a, a Lico or something. A Lico? Okay, and that's going to go where? That's going to go up high and hit the disco ball so all those lights bounce everywhere. Like that, let's say. Like that. I got the music going in the background. Yeah, but that's not you. Come on. Oh, come, on. Come, on. come on. But that's not come you. On. Come on. Up. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, what exactly is this interview for? It's for lighting for Jad and Associates. And what does, what does that mean? We're looking for general who have experience in lighting. Well, I've been making my living for 35 years with light. And, um... Okay, you want to come on down? To where? I'm going to come down you? to the where shop. right now? Las Vegas. You want to come down to the shop? In Las Vegas? Mm-hmm. Sure. Come on down to the shop. Um, do you have a preference? Uh, like, shift-wise? 8 a.m., 8.30? No, I'd work any time. All right, well, come on down. Uh, Monday, 8.30... Uh, there's no real dress code. We just ask that your jeans are not don't have holes in them. It really pisses the boss off. I'm in Los Angeles. Okay, yeah, you could just take the shuttle down or whatever. Take the train over. I mean, we get on the A line. I don't know. I'm not from here. I'm from Orlando. Orlando. Originally. Oh. Are you a gambler? No, I work in lighting. Lighting machines. No blackjack. No. Roulette? Nothing like that. Nope. Not sure where you're going with that. Hey, did you go to the uh, NAB show? The NAB show? Yeah. Uh Uh-uh. Oh. Lots of cool stuff. The National Association of Broadcasters? Yeah. We did lighting machines for them once. So this is a company that makes lighting machines. We make them go, specifically. Make them go. Can you... Would you do me a favor and explain that? Mm Mm-hmm. So this job's in Las Vegas? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. I'd have to move there. Like that. See something like that? Hold it up a little higher. Make them go. Looks like a mushroom. Some people say that, but it's not. It's just an accurate diagram. <sighs> it's pretty weird. I don't know. I still don't know what your company does or, or anything. So I'm confused. Something like that. Hold it up. You're really good. Thank you. 
I can't see you anymore, so I don't. Oh, I'm here. Why did you? Do, why would you do that? I was trying to reach my phone. Okay. Maybe that's more important to you. Maybe you should go. Well, like I said, this is the most bizarre interview I've ever had. I really have no idea what your company does or what you do or what. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you'll understand it when come Monday eight o'clock. Just come down to the shop. We'll I'm sure you understand it all. It's fine. I uh, want to give me an address. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Here. Are you gonna email it to me? No, I'm just putting it here for you on the screen. Oh, is that an intersection? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. And then this is the left only, left turning. And there's always a cop right here. Right there. Yeah. Is that a Vegas cop or what county? A metro. That's right, okay. Yeah. And then right here. Valente building. Right there. Right there. You're just gonna. Right there. Park on the street? No, because you, you. Right on the. Yeah, on the side. Parallel. And you just walk like. Right there. Footprints on the ground that I can follow into your office. Mm -hmm. You just follow the signs of Las Vegas. Okay. Okay. Monday, eight o'clock. I will be in Las Vegas. I still don't know where I'm going. I'm look, I'm excited for it. I'll see you then. Have a great weekend. How bizarre! How bizarre! How weird. <laughs>